Good evening, I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The building may have been around since 1930, but today the Fox Theater sign looks good as new. Over the weekend, crews worked on restoring the neon sign to the iconic downtown Bakersfield building. If you remember, the Fox Theater began raising money in January to make repairs on their sign. In late February, the Fox Theater Foundation reached its goal of $6,000. The foundation is a nonprofit organization that relies on the public for donation to support the vision of the historic building. If you're looking for a job in law enforcement, Bakersfield Police is hiring. BPD currently accepting applications for a parking enforcement technician. According to BPD's website, applicants need to have a minimum of a high school diploma or GED, must be at least 18 years old, and have a valid California's Class C driver's license, and must also have a valid state first aid card and be able to pass a background check. Bakersfield Police hosting a Facebook Live event tomorrow at 2 p.m. to discuss those positions. And Caltrans is looking to hire for positions all over the state, including right here in Kern County. Caltrans headquarters says they're looking to hire a full-time equipment operator for their Mojave maintenance station. Job responsibilities include highway maintenance, operating vehicles with a valid Class B commercial driver's license, and maintaining equipment. To learn more, head to our website, turn to 23com We have a beautiful extended forecast in store. A system is making its way into the county late Tuesday into the early morning hours on Wednesday, but this one not going to be bringing much precipitation, just strong winds to our mountain and desert cities. We are tracking a wind advisory that begins at 2 in the afternoon tomorrow, continuing until 5 in the morning on Wednesday. As soon as that system clears, high pressure will be dominating that's going to cause a drying trend as well as a warming one up to 70 degrees by Friday and it looks like we could be hitting 80 by next Monday. That's your latest news and weather. You can find the top stories anytime at turn to 23.com. Good night.